Good morning from Studio 57, oh, Anne-Marie. Yeah. It's Flesh really me. It is not artificial <laughs> intelligence. I'm here. It is just about 9 a.m. on the East Coast, 6 a.m. out west. I'm Vladimir Dutin. Yeah, and I'm Anne-Marie Green. We've got a whole lot of news going on today. Here's a look at some of the stories grabbing our attention right now. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in Israel for high stakes meetings this morning. Blinken said the U.S. stands with Israel, but that the lives of civilians in Gaza must be protected. Breaking this morning, the latest job numbers are out. What this key indicator will tell us about the labor market and the U.S. economy. A Louisville police officer is set to testify. He was, quote, shocked by former Detective Brett Hankison's actions during the 2020 raid that killed Breonna Taylor. We're going to have the latest on the federal civil rights trial. Plus, everyone thinks ads online are annoying, but would you pay to keep them off your Facebook and Instagram? Meta is introducing this in Europe. We'll break down how the new program works. Or you can just not go on Facebook. <laughs> All right. And uh, the legacy of the Beatles lives yes. on. This is really interesting with a little help from their friends and a little AI. Later on this hour, we're going to take a listen to the legendary band's newly released song. Got some breaking economic news to get to. The U.S. labor market is showing signs of cooling down. That's according to the latest jobs report. 150,000 new jobs were added last month. The unemployment rate did not move much. It came in at just under 4%. We'll have much more on the jobs report coming up later in the hour. But now we go to Gaza, where Israeli forces say they hit a number of targets in the Palestinian territory overnight, killing another Hamas commander. Israel's military now claims its troops have surrounded Gaza City. This is a major development as the country takes aim at Hamas's military infrastructure. This also comes as thousands of cross-border Gazan workers in Israel and the West Bank have been sent back to Gaza today. The Israeli Prime Minister's office says, quote, workers from Gaza who were in Israel on the day of the outbreak of the war will be returned to Gaza. And in Washington, a new House bill will provide or to provide additional funding to Israel is unlikely to advance in the Senate. The Republican-backed measure includes more than $14 billion for Israel, However, lawmakers nixed additional funding for Ukraine and Taiwan. And this comes as Secretary of State Antony Blinken arrived in Tel Aviv today and met with officials there. A short time ago, he met with Israeli president, with the Israeli president, and reiterated Israel's right to defend itself, but also said how they do it matters. Uh, how Israel does this matters, and it is very important that when it comes to the protection of civilians, who are caught in a crossfire of Hamas's making, that everything be done to uh, protect them and to bring assistance to those who so desperately need it uh, and who are not in any way responsible uh, for what happened on October 7th. So we're working on all of that uh, together. So right there, you can also hear protesters chanting in the background, demanding there be no ceasefire until all of the hostages are released. So for more on this, I'm joined by CBS News on National Security Reporter Olivia Gazis. Um, so, Olivia, what has the Secretary of State been doing, and, and how does his message um, differ or is the same than it was when he was in Israel just a few weeks earlier? 